Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. We have started exploring one of my favorite dungeons in pretty much every Zelda game. I can't think of too many dungeons, dungeons I like as much as I like this one. I've been looking forward to this, this whole time. I'm not gonna pretend I remember everything about it because clearly I think I've proven I don't already by not remembering how to take care of mini freezers. But, oh my god, it's... I've been so excited. I really have. I'm so glad I get to do this now. We'll see if that feeling lasts when I keep having to deal with white wolfos and ice physics. But as you can see, I've yet to get a single heart drop. Probably I should be taking care of these as a wolf myself, but we're done. One too bad. And that is a giant freezer. I don't think it can take that on with my little bitty, my little bitty sword. What I need are those cannonballs. Can I take you on with bomb arrows, perhaps? Probably not. I'm not over there anymore. Unless it's in here. Alright, we got a cannon. We got mini freezers. We have Link. Right, that's one down. It's two down. We have a cannonball. I believe if you throw the cannonball at the freezers. and you actually hit them, you'll do a ton more damage than your sword. Ow. For now, we'll just continue on our way. Okay, no, doesn't do anything. Thought it did. All right, y'all were not hard to take out. Right, let's load the cannon. Aim the cannon, and then you also need some powder. By which I mean bombs. So aim it in the direction you want, put a bomb in it. Anything you blast with a cannonball, any ice you blast at it will shatter. This is gonna be how we open up quite a bit of room. And we got more bombs. Of course, the downside is you have to come and collect the cannonball every time you use it. And if you don't know how to use it, there's instructions over here. Cannon manual, insert, iron, continue, put in, explosion, launch. So enough for you to figure out what you actually need. Put it in. Blow through all that ice. Excellent. Fortunately, we won't be able, be able to do anything about that ice yet. We might want to keep our minds on it. There might be something behind there that we can get later. Freezer, I want you to die. Ah, now we have freezers over pets. Also, keys. Oh, 
Yeah, that was... That was pretty... pretty brave of me. Alright, there we go. Alright, pretty much everything that's frost covered like that is a trap. You step on one of the frosty beams, you will slide off. And reset the room. So this is as much a maze as it is as it is anything. Okay, I was hoping that I could pull off what I did the first time, but no, we're gonna have to take the long way around. Mostly because I'm tired of dealing with the damn keys. Goodbye. Why you need the soup so much? There's just so much incidental damage in this dungeon. Alright. Um. Probably want to jump across. I was gonna say, I don't think it matters if which direction we come from. If we step on the ice, we're gonna be sliding straight into the pit. You found the stamp for the Hillian letter B. Check out your stamps on the collection screen. Why was this in a normal chest? That's really weird. I would not have come back to open that chest. You got the compass. This handy tool will show you where to find objects hidden in this dungeon. Check the map screen to look for them. Alright, that's going to be useful. It's not really what I'm after. What I really need is a key, and I think I might have passed it. Also, there's three Poes in this dungeon. We might have passed the key. Hmm. Oh, it might have been outside. Might have been another one we needed to dig up as Wolf Link. Okay. Do we have a quick way back? Do we have a claw shot target? Uh, yes. Good. Right there. Alright, well, we got the compass, so I'm not angry. Freezers do respawn, though. Fortunately, the ice though don't. I don't remember if the white wolf foes do. I'd be kind of surprised if they didn't. Yeah, there they are. Alright, let's try this in wolf mode. Yeah, wolf mode's much easier. We don't sink into the snow as bad. Come here. Come here. Wolf on wolf combat. Let's go. Gotcha. Alright. Now let's see. Right here. There we go. Is this my key? You got a small key. This will open a locked door, but only in this area. Excellent. This is exactly the door I want to open with it. But I can't unless I'm human. Now we have access to cannonballs. However, how do we get cannonballs from in here to out there? Link cannot open doors while he is holding cannonballs. Fortunately, we've got this device. What we need to do is we need to pull this lever. Load a cannonball into it. And then on the other side, we'll be able to take the cannonball back out. 
first let's go up here. What's up here? Uh, up there is death. Let's not go up there yet. We will freeze immediately. Alright, so now we just need to take this lever. Pull it down. We get our cannonball. It's really cool. I really like that. It could be considered one of those, you know, you could just have Link carry things through rooms. But it's an innovative solution to, you know, not doing that. Which probably is also simpler for them to program. Let's be real. Like, if they're only going to need Link to transport this one object to b between rooms, they might as well just go ahead and give him a mechanic unique to this dungeon to be able to do that, and therefore not have to worry about, you know, somehow breaking things with Link carrying other objects between rooms. Alright, so how do you feel about cannons? You're doing a fine job of blocking my way. Until I unleash the power of cannon. That's bomb. No, oh, you don't like cannons very much at all. But you did turn into a mi mini freezer. I don't appreciate that. Alright, you're down. Goodbye. Cool, now we can continue this way. Alright, this doesn't look ominous at all. Hmm. Dark Knight. And he is pretty much invulnerable from the front. You need to get to him from behind. Use the claw shot targets to your benefit. But you will need to get behind him once he throws his ball. Okay, don't hang up there. It's not that hard to fight. It's kind of a little bit annoying. I'll try to corner you. I think that's what he's doing right now. Ow! That hurt. Alright. I'm starting to play this pretty badly. Gonna need to heal. There we go. Gotcha. What do we have here, though? Hmm. 
Can I perhaps take this with me? You got the ball and chain. This giant iron ball has incredible power. Set it to the buttons and swing to cause serious damage. That is our dungeon item. It is really useful in this dungeon. Now we can not only smash all the freezers and mini freezers, uh, but all the ice walls that have been in our way as well. So we don't need to rely on the cannons as much. All right, when you pull it out though, it's like you're wearing the iron boots. You're super slow. But you have so much power. It's so good. I, I love the fact that they give you a ball and chain. Again, this is one of the dungeons, one of the, one of the dungeon items I really wish you used more outside of the dungeon. There are, I think there are probably more places you'll use it of the freezer, but not many, or uh, the spinner, but not many. You got the Ordon goat cheese. This cheese is made from milk from Ordon goats. Oh, food again? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. Oh well, let's head back and hope she had some other brilliant idea. The good news is we'll be able to improve our soup again. So I'm not too upset. As you can see, soup is very important. Probably why they go ahead and give you the ingredients pretty quick so that you get the best suit possible as soon as possible. Now we can open this up, give ourselves a shortcut back. We'll go ahead and, and destroy all this ice. All right, wolf time. Time for wolf combat again. I am the Alpha Wolf. You will respect my Alpha Taurus. Alpha Authority. Try to make a new word. Didn't really come off very well. I think it works. Alright. Go ahead and bust out of wolf mode. I want to go look and see what's behind that ice wall. Really? You guys really should just leave this alone. Really, don't even, don't, do not. All right, where was that? Where was that room? Right, it was in there. Okay, going the right way. Wow, okay. There we go. Oh yeah. Crushes freezers. Oh, that's so satisfying. Also, it does keep you from sliding on the ice, which is kind of nice. Okay, there's just 20 rupees. Eh. That's not what I wanted. At least... We've taken care of all the treasure on the scent. There we go. Yeah, uh... There's that treasure, but we're not gonna be able to do anything with that yet, I don't think. Alright, cool. Let's head back. Upgrade our soup, see if she's got any new ideas to go to. I'd like to say that we've done about half of the dungeon, but we definitely have not. Oh, there's freezers up there. Okay, I need to be a wolf.
Come back here. Alright, you know what? You don't want to fight? Fine. Of course, Minna can't open these doors. You don't want to fight me? Fine. Smash you. Smash you. And go ahead and open this up. Might as well. Also, there's a freezer directly above me. Trying to hit me. Doing a bad job of it. Let's not tempt fate. Hey, got you something else. Uh, why don't I go ahead and fill up my my life first? Might take a couple of scoops. All right, pumpkin soup. Actually, I'm kind of always been curious if this recipe is any good. It's fish, pumpkin, cheese. Sounds pretty good. Uh, needs more punch, uh. Uh, what? Good smell. What you have, uh? Hmm, perfect ingredient, uh. Little more time on fire and become gourmet soup, uh. Here, taste, uh. All right, I will taste. Mmm, looks good. You put superb soup in your bottle. It smells quite cheesy. Set it to and drink it with the buttons to replenish eight hearts. So basically, we got red potion for free whenever we want. It's really too bad that this is only pretty much useful in this one dungeon. I mean, it's great to think that we could come back here and get this anytime we wanted. This is also pretty far out of the way just for free red potion. I think I remember, uh? We put key in nearby room, so no forgetting, uh. How oh, I forget. Embarrassing, uh. See? Here. Place marked by symbol, uh. Is that really that nearby? Hmm. I am sus, uh. Alright, we got some... It there. It must be, uh. You look for me. Alright, we might do that next time. We got some chests uh, here we might be able to get. I'll take a look. If we do... It should be on the first floor. Mm, maybe. Hmm. Actually... Yeah, this might, they might be behind the armor. Aha! You found the stamp for the Hillian letter Q. Check out your stamps on the collection screen. Alright, so that should be all the stamps in the dungeon. Still don't know where the pieces of heart are. What's in here? You got 10 rupees. Alright, cool. I'm still a little bit weirded out. You know, that the stamps were in the small type chests. Really really don't appreciate that, considering they should be in the larger ones. But I think with a nifty new dungeon item and better soup, and hopefully she remembers exactly where we're going this time, we're gonna call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. 
If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.